Hi, this is Jim Sackman, your Focal Point Business Coach. And again, this is Success Friday's video. Uh, <clears throat> we're continuing our series about coaching in business and learning about how you can coach your employees and uh, improve their performance and make them happier and uh, so you get better employee retention. So this week, uh, we're continuing on through the coaching model. And this week, we're going to talk about corrections. And last week, we talked about planning. And if you remember, this is our model, and so you're, you've built a plan to take you from where you are now to where you want to be, and you're beginning to execute your plan. So you need to know if you're on track or not. <clears throat> and needless to say, um, if you've built your plan, plan properly, then you'll have done it with uh, smart goals and metrics so that you can do corrections. So uh, first off, you need to develop the plan with contingencies. And what that means is, uh, if you've got a plan and there are potential bottlenecks and you can see them ahead of time, you ought to plan for alternatives to allow you to adapt to problems as they go on without having to plan over from the beginning. Um, the second thing is stop like metrics. And what I mean by that is um, instead of waiting for something to completely fail, you ought to have some intermediate values by which it's like a red, yellow, green. Red is being bad, yellow being caution, and green being good. So if you're in the cautionary zone, then it's something you really need to pay attention to so that you can do a course correction or improvement before things get to red and before you have to do a, something more drastic. So that's why I call them stop like metrics. We used to, you know, it's, it's like a stop and go chart, red, green, blue, or red, green, yellow. And so you understand what quality each metric's in just visually. Um, so you should have, uh, if you're going to have metrics, you say, you know, 100 is good, 50 is okay, that's yellow, and then 25 is bad, right? That, that kind of thing. And then finally, brainstorming. And this is an area of caution for managers as they're going to coach employees. Um, if there's a problem and you're going to make a correction, you actually want the person that's executing the plan under your leadership to come up with these ideas. Now, you can help them with ideas, but you're better off drawing them out from people. And if you remember one of the, the earlier presentations I talked about, uh, people wanting to problem solve. This is an area where this can come out, where you'll sit there and troubleshoot the problem for your employee, and that's not what you want to do. You want them to troubleshoot it for themselves. What you want to do is prompt, help, goal, set, guide, um, ask questions, get them to develop it further, but let them come up with their own ideas. And some, cause sometimes they'll come up with better ones than you do. And once they've been through that process, a couple of things will happen. One, you'll have developed more trust with their ability. And two, they'll be more confident in their ability to solve problems. So remember, this is a very famous quote from a guy named Helmut von Moltke, who is a, a German general. No plan survives a contact with the enemy. So things are going to go wrong in virtually any plan, and you have to plan for the, you know, have to work the plan to make sure the changes are correct and get you to where you want to be. So change your business, change your life. Thanks, and have a great week. This is Jim Sackman.